four teenage friends on a camping trip in the woods. They're at a lake more than an hour's drive north of New York City. And they found a rope swing that is just too much fun to resist. Of course we thought the rope swing was going to be dangerous, but we're a bunch of teens and we're looking just to have some fun. But when 15-year-old Cody Terrison grabs a hold of the rope, <laughs> he's looking for a way out. You know what's crazy? It's scary. Cody's scared. He's got a steep 30-foot drop in front of him. Are you going to go? And a white-knuckle grip on that rope. Just grab, grab higher with your other hand, though. But his friends keep pushing him to go for it. Yeah, are you going to go? Cody's going to have to swing out on the rope to clear the rocks below and hit the water. He won't do it. The embankment was pretty steep. Recording? Yeah. And with the camera rolling, Cody goes for it. Yes! And then stumbles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cody! Are you okay? Fifteen-year-old Cody Terrison is seconds away from a 30-foot plunge that could change his life forever. Is it recording? No, just do it, just do it. Cody and his friends Chris, James, and John have been camping in the woods near Bedford, about an hour north of New York City. I wasn't concerned about Cody and his, and his buddies. Cody's mom, Lisa, says when it comes to camping in the woods, the boys are well-trained, and they're usually responsible kids. They keep in touch. Having been in the Boy Scouts, they've learned quite a bit in terms of taking care of themselves and being smart. But what Lisa doesn't know is that the teens have found a rope swing overlooking a lethal 30-foot drop down to a lake. Chill. I thought the uh, rope swing was very dangerous. <laughs> You're compact. But John's fear doesn't stop his friends. James takes the plunge. Yeah. Look how much air that is. <laughs> now it's Cody's turn. I did it twice. I did it twice. So much scarier here. Even though James made it look easy, Cody's very nervous. Here, grip, grip this hand up high. The hill was very steep, and the water was pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's a big guy. Grab the knot and grab the bubble. I'm up, I'm up. With a big lump in his throat. Let us go, big boy. I felt like Cody was very nervous and kind of having doubts about himself. Yo, just don't land on your face. But Cody's friends won't let up. Cody, we've been shown here for two minutes and 30 seconds. You know what, Chris? It's scary. I saw Cody was nervous to go off the rope swing, but I wanted to encourage him. How high, how high are you? Like, when you fall, how long do you think you're oh, high? Finally, after three full minutes, Cody's heard enough. Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cody! Oh. Are you OK? When Cody started his swing, he was just like, all right, I'm going to do it. He was looking good for the first, like, 0.5 seconds. Then he slips. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Cody! Oh. Are you OK? As Cody starts to take off, his bare foot snags on a rock on his way down the slope. He panics and lets go of the rope and crashes down on the rocks at the edge of the lake. Cody just took off down the hill by himself, no rope, just landed on a rock. <laughs> oh! I heard a tumble, then I heard a splash. Cody, oh! are you OK? I laughed about it because I thought he was fine. Help me! Help me! Then his friends quickly realize Cody's hurt. Bad. Help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> We're coming! We're coming! Cody was screaming, help, help, help. I cannot feel my leg. <laughs> The friends scramble down the steep slope. I saw his leg was like blew up like a balloon. When they reach Cody, he's in a foot of water. His right leg is twisted back at an ugly angle and bleeding. Cody was just stressing about his leg because he was in so much pain. Cody looked like he was in shock. The paramedics arrive, but there's a big problem. Cody's 30 feet down a steep slope with a broken leg. Moving him the wrong way could sever his femoral artery, and he could bleed to death. We couldn't obviously pull him up the hill. Rescuers have to use a boat. Come on, hold this boat. I got you. Uh, there's a rope to you. Right over there, Tommy. 
They paddle to a flat part of the shore and carefully load him onto an ambulance. When he came into the trauma unit, there were probably 15 people that were working on him. Cody has a broken femur. The jagged edge of the bone was dangerously close to his femoral artery. He was in a lot of pain from all the swelling, and he had lost over a third of his blood. Cody survives, but he's still recovering. I have a limp right now. There's a metal rod in my femur, and there's a pin in my knee, a pin in my hip. Um, and there's a chunk missing out of my leg with nerve damage that might be permanent. As soon as he lost his grip on that rope, he knew he was in deep trouble. I fell 30 feet, and as I was falling, I felt like I was hitting everything I could possible. Thankfully, Cody didn't crack his head or break his neck. I think Cody was more lucky than unlucky because he was so close to dying. That day, I'd probably say like, you know, 80, 90% chance that I could have been paralyzed for life or dead. Four teenage friends learned a valuable lesson at this lake, but it came at a very high price. I learned not to egg on friends to do something that they're nervous about. Five, Five, four. Four. Yeah, I definitely learned my lesson. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>